What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for May. The series where we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price point. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But also, shout out to last month's winners. I've been in contact with you so you can claim your tech. You guys crushed it last month, so I picked 10 winners today. And if you want to win, comment down below your favorite item. Leave the video a thumbs up and obviously make sure you're subscribed. I'm only going to pick subscribers to the channel. Now, first up, this thing is actually dope. It's called the Sofa Baton. Weird name, but it's awesome. And with recent news about the Logitech Harmony remote being discontinued, this guy takes its place. It replaces all of my remotes around the house pretty much all into this one sofa baton. Literally, my LG TV remote, Android Shield, the Amazon Fire Stick, my Vizio soundbar, even two RGB light remotes, all were placed right into this. It has all the buttons like a usual remote does, but built in up top is a little LCD screen, which you can go through and pick and choose what the source is for what you want to control. So you can go through all your devices visually there on the screen. There's also an app which keeps track of everything. This is where you can pair your remote, whether it's searching their database for a device, using Bluetooth to connect, or via the infrared light beams. In the app itself, you select which button on the U1 remote you want to then change or reassign. Then within three or four inches, you aim the remotes at each other and press the button you want the U1 to learn. It soaks up all the infrared rays and now it's on your new remote. So instead of needing like three different remotes, I can just use it all right here on one, turn on the TV, navigate it through there, control and power my Nvidia Shield, audio, it's all done here. And it's really annoying, but I'm sure a lot of you have your own cable box remote in addition to your TV remote. So now combine them all into one. And one of the things you can do in the app in addition to reassigning every single button on here, is create macros for certain buttons on the remote. I don't know what you would need a macro for on a remote, maybe like different uh, inputs switching and putting in different, I guess, channels, but you can do it. I don't know why, but you can do it. One thing I discovered that I didn't even see they really advertised is with my RGB lights up in my studio. Since everything there has their own remote and it's always, you know, the tiny infrared remotes, I figured, hey, would that work? And it does. So upstairs, I can reassign all the RGB to this remote itself. I even did a thing where on the remote, it has the red, green, yellow, and blue little buttons there. And I assign those to actual, the RGB lights. It's little stuff like this that just makes this even more of a valued item, I guess. And we'll say that with RGB lights, it is kind of finicky at points. You can now walk around your house like Matilda. So as you saw, six of my remotes now all conveniently stacked into just one remote with the Sofa Baton U1. Very, very convenient. And it's only $45. Next, I know the PS5 is still hard to come by, but stock is becoming more available. And if you have one currently or you're planning on getting one, this all-in-one Nexigo dock bundle is a must-have. It holds games charges your controllers, has two built-in fans for heat dissipation, has an extra USB port if you need it, plus comes with a wireless battery pack for your controller. So taking a closer look, built in on the left side by the fans are two USB-C ports. Here you conveniently sit your controllers down and have them actively charging at all times so you never run out of juice. Plus it gives them a nice place to stay when you're not using it. Then on the right side of the dock are slots to sit 11 games. I currently only have two, but hey, as that library grows, they'll all be kept here nice and tidy. And then also included for you is that 1500 milliamp hour battery pack that gives you an extra 10 hours instantly of power for your controller. It just sits right up top. It's pretty small overall. And it doesn't affect the overall ergonomics of the controller or anything. And again, just having all this bundled together with the dock, I think is a crazy good deal. And plus, like I said, the main point of this is to act as a cooling station with the built-in fans. And I haven't had any heating issues with the PS5 as it is, so honestly, I just keep them turned off. But at least it's there if I ever need to use them. Everything in this Nexigo bundle is just $45. All right, you're gonna like this one. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are also in the keyboard community like myself, and one of the hardest parts is finding an in-stock key set. Whether it's a group buy, it's years away, you don't wanna spend $200 for a crazy overpriced GMK set. What about, for under 50 bucks, designing your own set? Oh yes, this is where Max Keyboards comes in. They allow you to create and customize your very own custom keycap set, just like I did here for my custom Grid 600 keyboard. Literally, I picked the font, the icons, the layout, everything here I created myself and they printed it. And you can do this too with different colors, different color keycap sets, whether you want certain keys to be certain colors or a font to be a certain color, you literally have the complete control and freedom to design your own set. 
The keycaps themselves, Max Keyboard uses are ABS, and you can pick from 61 keys, 87 or 104 for a 60% layout, TKL, or a full size. And it's an OEM key profile, so it's compatible with Cherry, Gateron, Kale, Otemu, Razer, Corsair, pretty much your standard mechanical stem. So just real quick, I'll show you on the website itself, you can pick between either the 61 key, 87 or 104. Both the 67 and 81 key are gonna be the two that fall under $50. You pick your bottom row layout, I went 6.25. Then your keycap print method. It can be printed on the top, the side, both, or blank. And then you upload your artwork. They do have a template you download in which you go in and design it so they can just easily print it off for you. Again, you pick your font, you pick whatever you want in here, your colors, you create it yourself, and they print it for you for just $45 or $47 comes conveniently packaged for you, so you can just take them off, put them on your keyboard, and now you have your very own custom keycap set to match any keyboard or setup theme you have for under 50 bucks. Now buckle up, because here we have the Govi Flow RGB light bars. And these are literally just like the Philips Hue Play light bars, but you don't have to spend a ridiculous $200 and you don't need a dedicated separate hub. Hey Philips, suck it, these are 50. So built in is a module where you can control the lights, but obviously with their Govi app, that's where you can really customize the effects and the colors to get the most visually out of these flow light bars. They have preset scenes in the app. You can make it you know, static colors, have it pulse and go along the music on your phone, or with the built in microphone on the light bar module, if you're using these around your room, it can react to audio going on in your room. But the functionality, the customization, it's all here for what I think is just a crazy good price point. And obviously, with the majority of us here being gamers, yes, you add these to your desk setup, and you can do so in a few different ways to really spice up the looks. So first, it comes with four stands. Two of them are for standing the lights up vertically, so you can shine and blast lights onto the wall behind your monitor. This way, the light's gonna you know, blend nicely and give it that nice ease of contrast from your display to the wall. I've always been a fan of backlighting like this, just looks really nice. Or if you want, you can just set them on your desktop and have the lights shining right there, blinding you in the face. Or again, you just turn them around, face them towards your wall. You do what you want. Listen, you're the captain of the ship. No one's gonna tell you what you can or can't do with RGB lights. But what I prefer to do, and I think it's definitely the smart choice here, is mount them on the back side of your monitor. It comes with two extra mounts with the 3M adhesive on the back. This lets you mount it on your monitor like this. In this way, it'll free up that desk space if you don't want them physically sitting on your desk or on your stand. And now it's gonna give you that nice ambient backlighting that I just think can really elevate a setup. As I mentioned, I picked these up for just $50. Just saw recently, they were up to $55 currently. But Govi's always dropping the price on Amazon, so odds are you can find them at the extra five bucks off. Either way, $50, $55. Definitely worth the price. I'm sure it'll be cheaper soon. And there's a much, much better deal than Philips. And then last but not least is my favorite headset from all of 2020. And it's one of the top selling gaming headsets in the entire gaming market from the last year. This, the Razer Black Shark V2X. And now, as you can see, switch to the mic so you can hear how it sounds during this entire portion. So this released last summer and honestly sounds as good, if not better than headsets, two to three times this price. And if you don't believe me, check reviews of your other favorite YouTubers out there. They all repeat the same thing. The value of this headset is absolutely insane. Inside, it uses their very own Razer Triforce drivers. They're 50 millimeters each. And in terms of design, I really like the simplicity to it. It goes from that like pilot headset design it's very minimal looking. You just have a mic mute button on the back of the ear cup. And on the left side, the built-in volume dial for controlling your audio. What really stood out to me was the really good sounding spatial and directional audio for you know this stock stereo experience. Identifying footprints, very, very good with these for FPS or competitive gaming. Bass impacts sound really nice. But also inside the box, they include a free code so you can go in and enable the 7.1 Razer surround sound. So you had that included here. And also for it being emulated, also sounds phenomenal. It's just crazy what Razer is doing here with this. The microphone they use here is their HyperClear Cardioid. It's on a gooseneck, so you can you know, position it, angle it in front of you. And overall, it's very, very comfortable. Nice and lightweight, no pressure points at all. And uh, I don't wear glasses anymore, but when they are on, absolutely zero pressure points, very, very comfortable. Even if you do wear glasses, I am just extremely impressed. Like I said, my favorite headset of all of 2020. Now, instead of retailing for 60 bucks, which was already way more than fair, down to 50 on Amazon. If you want to get them, uh, I think they have it renewed for just 40 bucks on Amazon. So a crazy 
good deal for a gaming headset. If you're in the market to pick one up, highly recommend the Black Shark V2X. And guys, I'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech under $50 for May. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.